Omaha works to find housing for hundreds of people with just three months until the first apartments at Southside Terrace are torn down. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Bill Shamer. The Omaha City Council approved development plans for one of the country's oldest housing projects this week. It sits off South 30th and R Streets. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon reports on the efforts to move people out. He joins us live. Bill, Julie, crews are demolishing parts of Southside Terrace, including these two buildings in January. It's forcing residents to choose where else to live during a time of transformation. Omaha housing officials are taking on their biggest relocation effort. Good afternoon, Joni Poor with the Omaha Housing Authority. Expecting to move about 1,200 tenants from Southside Terrace. Moving is stressful. The Omaha Housing Authority hired a contractor to relocate residents. There's no cost to them thanks to a federal grant and the Right to Return Act. The CEO hiring contractor CBR to help tenants. 13 households living inside these two buildings selected to resettle in Section 8 voucher housing. Other options for residents include a public housing transfer or relocation with friends or family. There's a number of different options. Some individuals in public housing have been saving for potential home ownership. They, this might be the right appropriate time for that for them. More renderings illustrate five other phases of construction. Contract workers will relocate others as the project moves forward, projected to end late 2028. This is definitely much, much bigger. It'll be spread out over more time, so it uh, hopefully will allow us to still give the same level of quality and care and concern for the tenants as we go through those relocation processes. Developers don't plan to surprise returning residents with market rates. It's about mixed income development so that uh, we're not concentrating poverty. More than brick and mortar, change is coming to Southside Terrace. And it's gonna be bittersweet for a lot of people to see those disappear. But I think the reward will be when they see the project finalized and how that's gonna make South Omaha look. City planners hope this transformation gives a greater sense of safety to the area and attracts more people. Reporting live at Southside Terrace, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7. It is